Hello, let me see here. What do we do here? How do we turn this around? Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> I want to check on your phone, see if we're live. Hey, everybody. Just want to make sure everybody can see us. Sorry, we had a little technical difficulty getting logged in, uh, but we're here now. We're just going to give you guys a second to um, get online, and then we will start this amazing tooth talk. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm here with my main man, Robbie. Hello. <laughs> Robbie's going to re be reading the questions you guys submitted. How this is going to work is you, a bunch of you guys submitted questions and we're going to answer as, ma as many of them as we can. And then uh, if there's time at the end, we'll freestyle with some questions you guys submit uh, via this right here. So thank you all for being here. Again, it's Dr. Thomas from Canine Grills. And as we get loaded here, we will start here in a second. I want to thank you guys for being here. I also want to thank Zwe and Healthy Spot for sponsoring this. We're very, very excited to be taking part in this. Um, today's class will be donation-based for our Roundup of the Month. Healthy Spot's Roundup of the Month. It's going to Wags and Walks, an amazing um, rescue group uh, in LA here uh, that, work, that we've worked with, Healthy Spot work, works with all the time. Uh, in a few, moment, few minutes, we'll be introducing you to uh, Celine, she's a little three-year-old Chihuahua that is available for adoption. Um, so uh, please, if you can, donate some money to Wags and Walks. Uh, it's going to help all these beautiful little doggies and kitties get adopted, and maybe even help them with get some dental care down the road. So again, thank you, Zwi. Thank you, K uh, Healthy Spot, and thank you, Wags and Walks, uh, for what you guys do. Um, a couple other things to get take care of while we're getting everybody loaded up. Zwee is sharing a special offer with our class attendees. If you go to HealthySpot.com um, and enter the code WFHZIWI10, you'll receive $10 off your purchase of $50 or more of Zwee products. Um, so again, HealthySpot.com, enter the code WFHZIWI10. Um, and you'll get $10 off any purchase of $50 or more from Zwee. And then don't forget to share your picture of your experience during this tooth talk. Um, take a picture, tag Healthy Spots, tag Zwee, tag, tag, tag Canine Grills if you'd like. Um, and let's see, how does it go? So, and then for a chance to win a prize pack of $50 from Zwee, make sure you post it within the next 24 hours. That window closes at 24 hours. Um, I assume Healthy Spot will pick the winner based on uh, those uh, submissions. So again, take a picture of your experience here with us tonight. Tag Zwee, tag Healthy Spot if you want, tag Canine Grills, and then do it within 24 hours and someone will be selected for a $50 prize pack. Okay, so thank you all for being here. I think, Robbie, you wanna get started with some, uh, some questions? Okay, we're gonna take some uh, questions that were submitted previously uh, to Healthy Spot's inquiries and we will get going right now. All right, Robbie, what do we got? First question. All right, first one is from Porter the Pug. How Porter can you pug. Effective, effectively clean and scale dogs' teeth without sedating them? It's a great question. We get that question all the time. Um, first off, every animal that comes to see us, we put through a, a um, behavioral assessment. We also go through a very thorough oral examination. Uh, we look for anything in the mouth that has to be dealt with under anesthesia first. If we find anything, really loose teeth, significant infections, fractured teeth, masses, all sorts of things that have to be dealt with under anesthesia, we don't clean around those just so you know. Um, and then during that time, we're also assessing the animal's behavioral tolerance. If they're too scared, too nervous, too resistant, we never force them through, uh, that's for their own safety. But assuming they pass our oral examination, we don't find anything wrong. Larger dogs are kind of laid on their side on an orthopedic mat. Uh, one leg is kind of put over their waist. That's kind of how we communicate with them when they're trying to wiggle around. Then they lay with their uh, neck on one of the technician's laps. We use one hand to kind of control and open the mouth, and then the other hand for the instrumentation. So if this is a jaw, this is, might be hard to see, but if a dog's under general anesthesia, you know, they're lying there still, of course, we, they, we put a mouth gag uh, between these canines, and that holds the mouth open. What we do is we use our hands to kind of control and open the mouth, something very similar to this. That got, allows us to have the exact same access. We obviously use bright illumination. We look down in there with the other hand. We use uh, all the same dental instrumentation we'd be using under anesthesia. That's hand, dental, scalers, curettes. We use ultrasonic scalers, mechanical polish. Um, and that's kind of how we gain access. But again, 
We never force any animal through it. That's for their safety, for our safety. Um, but from a behavioral standpoint, we're able to do about 95% of dogs and cats. But um, there are plenty of dogs that come to us that need to get anesthetic dentals first. That's how I believe the two systems need to work together. We need to start cleaning the teeth from a young age, brushing regularly at home. Um, anytime something pops up that needs to be dealt with under anesthesia, we will you know, send you to anesthesia to get that done. And then the idea would be to come back into our program and we'll maintain them. Uh, hopefully for quite a long time or until the next uh, issue pops up that re requires anesthesia. So great question. We get it all the time. Thank you for that submission. Hopefully that answers your questions. Robbie, what's next? All right. This one's from Maui Babe Golden Doodle. Maui Babe Golden Doodle. Hopefully you're here. What's up? My dog is 10 months old and has double canines. Is this normal and should we have it extracted and when? Okay, so double canines, that's another word for a persistent or a retained deciduous tooth. A deciduous tooth is a baby tooth. Humans get baby teeth, we lose them. Dogs get baby teeth, we lose them, or they should lose them. Now, when they're retained at 10 months of age, they should be uh, pretty much on their way out uh, or you know, already significantly loose and on their way out. Um, if they're not, they should be extracted. That does need to be dealt with under anesthesia. That would be something we would turn a dog down for. Um, the issue with that is uh, they potentially can negatively affect the adult tooth because they're so close. If they're really right on top of each other, food and bacteria can kind of work themselves down between that tooth and potentially you know, affect the bone or the soft tissue surrounding the tooth. As soon as we get that tooth out, we no longer have to worry about it and we have a great place to kind of start from. So um, if there are retained baby teeth or deciduous teeth, uh, past you know 10 12 months of age we do recommend you get those pulled um, that's for the health of the adult teeth all right thank you for that question that's a great question we get that a lot Robbie right. what do you got Marcy we'll get to your question soon it's involved in this did they okay about brushing teeth okay all right this one's from Jessica Apperson Jessica Apperson okay are dental chews actually helpful uh, dental chews are potentially helpful, absolutely. Um, you know, they're not a substitute for brushing. You're probably going to hear me say this a lot. Um, the single most important thing you can do for your dog, just like you do for yourself, is brush their teeth. Anything they'll kind of chew on that's not rock hard is potentially helpful. Um, might help kind of, you know, knock some tartar off. The softer, the softer toys might kind of help remove some of that plaque. Um, but we, you know, we anything that's really hard can potentially be an issue. We never know whose teeth are robust enough to really handle the really rock hard chews. So be super careful with those. Um, oh, we got a visitor here. Hang on. I think this is Chloe and the beautiful little Celine is going to uh, visit us from Wags and Walk. Stand by for a second. Go see, are you guys here waiting for Wags and Walks? You guys are about to meet Chloe, the three-year-old Chihuahua who is available for the, hey. Hi guys. Hi, Chloe, how are you? Selene and I are learning a lot over here. Excellent. <laughs> um, my name is Chloe, and this is adoptable pup Celine. We are tuning in from the Wags and Walks Adoption Center in LA. Um, if you haven't heard of us, Wags and Walks is a 501c3 dog rescue dedicated to saving dogs of all breeds, ages, and sizes from local overcrowded shelters um, in LA and Nashville. And our mission is to decrease euthanasia rates in our communities. Uh, Miss Celine here is a recent rescue. Show them how cute you are, Celine. <laughs> it's a recent rescue um, who we saved, and she's looking for her forever home. Oh. She is a three-year-old, nine-pound chihuahua. She is a chihuahua mix, I should say. Um, she's super spunky and silly. She would be a great companion for anyone looking for a cuddle buddy, someone to run errands with. She's also good on long walks and pretty good in, in every situation. Um, she's good with dogs her size and loves everybody. Um, if you're interested in adopting her or supporting Wags and Walks, you can donate through this live stream today. You can shop at Healthy Spot this month. Um, we're a Roundup partner of theirs. So through the month of September, um, all of your purchases can be rounded up and Healthy Spot will donate that change right back to us and dogs like Celine so we can continue our rescue efforts. Um, it means a lot, especially now with everything going on in the world. Um, Oh, she heard, she heard me. <laughs> With everything going on in the world, we're especially grateful um, and very, very appreciative of Healthy Spot support. And we love Canine Girls, too, who just donated to our auction. Thank you for your support and for everything you do for, for pups in need. Um, if you're interested in adopting Celine or any other pups, visit wagswonks.org, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you so much. See you, <laughs> yeah. Celine. Hope we get you home, Bye. okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, cool. 
Okay, Robbie. Um, I think she is about to jump. I think she's got to do it on her. Okay. So, where were we? All right. On to the next question. Okay, what do we got? This is from the Wild Wild Kittens. Wild Wild Kittens. Hello. Do water additives for plaque and breath actually make a difference? They certainly have some potential uh, benefit. Um, they're not a substitute for brushing. I always say this to clients. Um, if there was some miracle, you know, water additive or, you know, drink we could drink that would eliminate the need to brush, it would exist for us as well. Now, I'm not saying they're, they're, you know, ineffective. I think they are effective. But I think it has to be a complete package of preventative care at home. So that starts with brushing again. Can't emphasize that enough. We need to treat their teeth exactly like our own brushing regularly. That doesn't mean once a month. It doesn't mean once every two weeks. It means ideally at least every day. Um, or I mean, at least every other day, ideally every day. But either way, um, in conjunction or with supplementing the uh, water, the water additives, the gels, the sprays, um, that would be the best. And, the, you know, the softer chews, that would be the best approach to um, comprehensive preventative dental care at home. So great question. Thank you very much. All right. This is from Rambo, the rambunctious pup. I saw him in here. So. Rambo Rambo says what? Pug? Pup. Pup, okay. Pup. He's in okay. here. Rambo, what do we got? All right. What's better, brushing with a brush or the toothpaste that doesn't need to be brushed on? Okay. So, again, um, that kind of goes along the same line. Um, those those products, I, I, I imagine they, you know, function best based on contact time. So, they have to be in contact with that plaque or tartar for X amount of time for them to be highly effective. So, um, you know, I think they're probably beneficial. I think mechanically getting in there with a brush is, uh, with that toothpaste, is going to be your best bet because when you're actually using um, the bristles of a brush, those bristles, just like they are for you and I, are getting in all those nooks and crannies. They're getting in the spaces that, you know, you might kind of bounce over when you're applying the gel. Um, and you can be in there for an extended period of time where when you, you know, you put those gels on or those sprays, the dog's going to lick them and maybe drink water and kind of flush them down faster. So, um, ideally I would say definitely try to use a brush, um, with any toothpaste that you, you do use. So great question. Thank you. What do you got? All right. This is from Puggle Riley. Puggle Riley. Riley the Puggle. Hello. What toothbrush and toothpaste do you recommend for a medium sized dog? So these kind of apply to all size dogs and even cats. Um, any, the, the toothbrush should be soft bristled. Um, you don't want to use firm or medium. You don't want to damage the gums. Um, and, you know, I recommend using smaller head toothpaste or toothbrushes. Um, we, can, we send you home uh, at Canine Grills with one of our toothbrushes every time you guys come in. Got blue for boys and pink for girls. And by the way, if you follow us on at caninegrills.com today or you're already a follower, uh, if you send us a DM with your address, we'll happily send you a, a toothpaste, a toothbrush in the next 24 hours. you got to get it to us in the next 24 hours. But So any soft bristled, small-headed toothbrush is going to make your job a lot easier. It's going to be safest for the dogs. Um, and then really any toothpaste that is um, made for a dog is okay. Don't use human toothpaste. The fluoride can potentially cause issues, renal issues and things like that. Um, we Our go-to for toothpaste is a brand called CET. Vanilla mint. They also have a poultry flavor and a chicken flavor. Not a huge fan of those flavors because, um, you know, it's going to make your life a lot harder. If you put chicken on a toothbrush and you put what the dog might think tastes like chicken in his, his or her mouth, he or she's going to start chewing on that toothbrush and make your job a lot harder. It's also, I, I don't know, I, chicken flavored breath doesn't really sound too good to me. But um, so we like CET vanilla mint. But again, Anything that you're comfortable with, if your regular veteran has a, a recommendation, as long as it's um, made for, specifically for dogs, you know, they're probably, there's probably some good uh, research behind it and should be okay. So, okay, that's a great question. Thank you for that. And, Robbie, what do we got? This is from Puppy Harper. Puppy Harper. Harper the Puppy. What are the best chews in between brushes? So, yeah, these, uh, again, anything that's not rock hard, we like. Um, we like a product that Healthy Spot sells uh, called No Hide. Um, it's not rawhide; it mimics rawhide. It's a rice-based. Um, it's a rice-based material. They kind of roll up into uh, what looks like a rawhide bone, and they put some uh, high-quality protein on that. Could be salmon, chicken, beef. That entices the dog to start chewing, 
Um, it's got some give to it. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it should last a fair amount of time depending upon how aggressive your dog, how aggressive and mature your dog is. Um, but, uh, you know, anything that they'll sit for a little bit of time and kind of gnaw on, it potentially has that, uh, uh, you know, uh, benefit of, of kind of bouncing off the tooth and scaling a little bit of, you know, a little bit of tartar, maybe even some, you know, the soft plaque stuff. So um, just stay away from anything hard. Most of the stuff, they, you know, everything they sell in Healthy Spot is very well vetted um, and it is probably really good for your dog. But we, we our go-to is no hide. So, again, available at all Healthy Spots. All right. This one's from Doja Love. Doja Love, okay. Hi, how, Doja Love. How often should I be brushing my dog's teeth? How, how do I brush my dog's teeth? So, as I was saying earlier, um, you know, we need to start thinking about veterinary dentistry differently. We don't, we don't want to wait until there's this heavy discolored buildup and then, you know, bring the dog in, have to have a bunch of teeth pulled. That makes no sense. We need to start really pushing prevention. So all the same rules that apply to your mouth should apply to your dog or your cat's mouth. You know, their adult dentition should come in by, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, months of age. And then from that point, we should start brushing their teeth regularly and what i mean by regularly is at least every other day ideally every day with the goal of keeping their teeth as clean and white as your own teeth all the time you would never wait to go to your dentist with heavy discolored buildup you shouldn't wait for that for your dog either for all the exact same health reasons most periodontal disease is preventable through regular preventative or uh, routine care at home and then regular cleaning so um, ideally brushing at least every other day every day and then what was the end of that question how do I brush my dog's oh, teeth? So on our Instagram, on Canine Grills, on our Instagram uh, IGTV, we have a couple of videos. One addresses how to swaddle the smaller dogs. So you kind of want to wrap them up like a little baby. That's how you control their movement. And then from that point, you will um, grab around their entire mouth like this. So hold it closed. And then with this finger, you would lift up the lip. And then, you know, that exposes the sides of these teeth and you'd have the brush, and then you just kind of start brushing softly, oops, let's see, along the sides in the front. This is very fast, but, um, you know, concentrate on brushing the outsides of the teeth for the first three or four months. Um, that will get you used to, you comfortable with, you know, doing it. It's going to get your dog comfortable uh, with tolerating it. Um, and then over time, you're going to realize that you're going to be very able to kind of get into his or her mouth and then even open the mouth, like I was describing earlier and how we clean the teeth. So once, you know, your dog is comfortable with getting his teeth brushed, um, then you can kind of get in with your fingers like this, and then you can access the insides of the mouth. Now, in the meantime, the tongue should do a decent job for that. I really want you to brush the, the outsides for sure um, until your dog gets really comfortable. It's like training them to do anything else. You got to be consistent, persistent, and don't give up. So again, on our Instagram uh, TV, there's a couple videos. One, how to swaddle small dogs. Then the second video is from that swaddle position, how to brush their teeth. And then there's a video of me and a, a, my dog, Ray, who I adopted, um, who he's a larger dog, and then how to kind of position that. We're going to get some more videos up on our IGTV re, uh, soon addressing this because those videos are kind of very rudimentary. Um, but they're going to give you a place to start. So just practice, practice, practice consistency, 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 and persistency, uh, or persistence. Um, that's going to how you, it's, that's how you'll eventually get there. Most dogs have a breakthrough. Some takes a week, some takes, you know, six weeks, but just stay persistent. And, you know, another thing, a lot of people say they can't get in the back of the mouth. Those cheek pockets are actually a lot looser than you think. So again, as you get, uh, as you stay trying to brush the teeth, you're going to start to feel much more comfortable handling the mouth and you know, getting that cheek open and getting that toothbrush in there. So obviously be careful, but that's a place to start. So again, RK9 Grills, Instagram, our IGTV, hopefully we'll get you some starters and then look for new videos coming up soon. Great question. Thank you. All right. We got time for a couple more, Robbie. What do we got? All right. This is from M and Lola, who I just saw. This, okay. Hey, I'm and Lola. This question was kind of included uh, in the question before, but what tips do you have for pets who don't like getting their teeth brushed? So, yeah, I mean, kind of addressed previously in the last question, um, but certainly you can try to create a positive association. So, you know, if your dog really hates it, you, if you're only able to dress like one arcade or one quarter of the mouth, so, you know, it's upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right, um, you, you know, just start one night on one of those quadrants. Um, and then if your dog does really well, you know, maybe 
do their favorite activity with you, whether it's play ball or go on a quick walk, you know, just really pet them and give them a lot of love, just a lot of love and encouragement. Um, and then, you know, get back at it. But, you know, you can't, you, you need to kind of push through when they're kind of trying to resist. You have to let them know that you're still the boss and they need to get this done. But when they do a good job, just reward them. Again, think of the tools that you use to, to train your dog um, and, and try to apply those to this because it, it really is just getting them used to a new feeling, a new sensation. Um, so that's a pretty good place to start. But just a positive association, it would be my best recommendation. My dog was um, about two-year-old Kane Corso I rescued from a shelter. And when I first got him, I, I couldn't really touch his mouth. Um, but I stayed with it, and now he's just laid back, and, you know, he enjoys it. So just keep trying. Okay, thank you for that. Thanks for the question, Em and Lola. <laughs> Thanks for the answer. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. All righty. And then the last two got cut off. So I'm not too sure who sent these, but if teeth brushing daily is not a routine, what is the minimum? So again, I think, you know, again, ideally daily, the same rules that apply to our teeth should apply to your dog's teeth and your cat's teeth. Um, but if at least every other day, um, you know, when we get out to like once a month, once a week, we're not really going to be too effective. And you can't brush off the hard tartar. You're, what you're trying to do is brush off the soft plaque that uh, is laid down after every meal. So that food particulate, after they crunch their food up, you know, there's some crumbs left in their mouth that mixes with the natural, natural uh, or the, the bacterial flora in the mouth, and that creates that plaque. Um, and then that lays down on the teeth, that's that little film that we feel. Um, we should try to get that off every day before it has a chance to start transitioning to tartar. Like I said earlier, it kind of becomes sticky as it, be, as it slowly becomes a really hard calculus. Um, really the sticky stuff and the hard calculus can really only properly be scaled off. So you could brush till the cows come in. If your dog has a lot of tartar, you're not really going to do much. That's, you know, that needs to be scaled off. So that's, you know, the regular cleanings every six months, brushing at least every other day, ideally every day. That's the best, um, that's the best comprehensive uh, plan of attack we can have for prevention at home. And then again, I want you to, I want you to know I'm a huge proponent of anesthesia. I, um, I, we send dogs to anesthesia every day. The two systems, I believe, just have to work together. We have to change our, our approach to dentistry and push prevention as opposed to waiting three years for a dental cleaning under anesthesia and then having to pull 10 teeth. Start young, be consistent, use anesthesia when it's necessary, use preventative veterinarian supervised non-anesthetic dental services, um, and that's the answer. Okay, so thank you for that question. I hope I answered that. All righty, and then the last one, any tips on how to make teeth brushing an enjoyable experience for your pet? My dog clenches her jaw shut and cannot be bribed with treats when she's feeling anxious. Um, again, this is kind of re re addressed earlier. Um, if you can create some sort of positive association, uh, that would be the way to approach it. Now, there are certainly some dogs that, you know, are, for whatever reason, just you just it just can't be done and though there's certainly dogs that we can't do either uh, because of behavior so i guess i just say take your time um, be persistent start slow do a little bit at a time if they do really well for a little bit reward them stop you know go play ball come back to it do a little bit more reward them come back to it so just take your time and don't and, and just stay patient and you know most dogs come around they really do um but again, there are some dogs that you just, you can't, you can't do, um, and we can't do, and, and that's what it is. But I do believe most dogs, really most dogs, uh, can tolerate rushing at home. So just stay, stay on that. So uh, we are, our next one is here, but I want to thank all you guys again for being here. Uh, I really appreciate it. This has been a lot of fun. Um, we have a 520. We've got five or, five or so more appointments uh, tonight, so we do have to sneak out of here. But again, I want to thank Zwi. I want to thank Healthy Spot for giving us this opportunity. Um, again, Z, go to HealthySpot.com. Uh, enter the code WFHZwi. So WFHZIWI10. You'll receive ten dollars off your purchase of fifty dollars or more Zwi products. And then don't forget to tag Healthy Spot and Zwi and Canine Goes if you want. Not mandatory at the end. So just Zwi, Healthy Spot. Um, and of your experience here today, and you'll be entered into in $50 worth of Zwi products. And they, that ha you have to get that uh, posted within the next 24 hours. That's a cutoff. And again, follow us on K9 Grills. 
to schedule, you just uh, contact any of your healthy spots directly. We're not working at Playa Vista or Century City right now because of COVID, but all the other healthy spots, you call them directly to schedule with us. Um, if you want a toothbrush, follow us. Send us a DM with your address in the next 24 hours. We'll get a toothbrush out to you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I really appreciate this opportunity. Have a great night, and we will probably do this again, maybe not anytime soon on Healthy Spot or not in the near future on Healthy Spot. We'll probably do something like this uh, on uh, Canine Grill. So thank you so much for your time. Have a beautiful night, and we will talk to you later. All right. Say bye, Rob. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.